Hey everybody, today is May 6th, 2011, and it's time to clean out the black max yet again. After sitting inside all winter, powered on pretty much all the time, it has accumulated a good bit of dust. Look inside the power supply fan, you can just get an idea. And look at the rear fans here. Filthy. All down through here. See the big mess. Look here at the side fan, which actually looks a little bit cleaner on the grill because it rubbed all over my shirt. You look inside the fan, there's like a mix of cat hair and dust and ash from the wood stove. Pretty dang filthy. We're going to remove the cover here. Even inside it looks quite a bit dirty. We're about to see the dust fly. I'll probably be sneezing and coughing, you name it, doing all that. It's time to clean out another computer system. Once again. So here we go. <clears throat> Air compressor is already charged up and ready to go. All I got to do is start. Here we go.
much, much cleaner. Whole different story compared to what it was. It was really filthy. That machine's nice and cleaned up. I'm having a little bit of an issue with this thing here lately. It seems that when it gets cut off, it doesn't want to turn back on. You can press the power button and a lot of times it don't even come on. You can turn off the power supply for about a few seconds, let everything discharge, and you turn it back on. Then in some cases it will turn on. I think it's an issue with the power supply. When it's on, it works fine. I think there's probably a couple of bad capacitors inside this power supply that need to be switched out. The power supply has been in service for two years. It's a DynaPower USA Cherry Red 500 watt power supply that sells for like 25 bucks on Newegg or 20 bucks on Newegg. Decent for what it is. But the capacitor brand isn't the best that is used inside this thing is JEE some generic brand unlike Rubicon or Sanyo or Panasonic anyways here's a look inside the machine again I need to switch that sticker because that's because now the machine has a Nathlon 64 X2 processor a dual core with the 500 megahertz overclock on it too. It's a 2 gigahertz Manchester CPU overclock to 2.5 gig just on that air cooler. Anyways, any questions or comments? Let me know.